All right, welcome back, everyone. Let's see if uh, see if our luck's a little better this time. We're gonna go first. Okay, this hand's great. This hand is great. All right, we're gonna leave with treetop. All right, let's see what we're playing against. Cavern of Souls. Looks like humans. Oh, merfolk. Okay. Let's do some fish hunting. This Liliana is going to be great. This Liliana is going to be great. Okay. We're still... We're going to get this Dark Confidant in there. Oops, got to do that in the reverse order. Try that there. All right, ship it to our opponent here. All right, he's got a 2-2 two -two now. 3-3. Three, three. That's where you just start playing Lords every turn, I suppose. Alright, take zero to our lambs. Interesting. So, I think the play is either Thoughtseize and Lightning Bolt. Or Lightning Bolt and Tarmogoyf. That's probably the best play here. With a Sack Lamb, that gets our Tarmogoyf up to a 3-4. Uh, which is huge. We do got to take quite a bit of damage here since we need red red mana. We're going to go with a black red. Get a blood crypt here. Take two. We're just going to end it right now for this guy. Cast our Tarmogoyf. Have a nice big beater here. Even if he plays a lord here, we get to have a blocker for this. Get our attack on. Bash for two. All right. Spreading seas on our one red source. Kind of annoying, but not, not too big of a deal. Uh, considering because we do have the second catacombs. With no other play, we are okay with that. Dark Confidant. Flips over Scavenging Ooze. And we draw a red perfectly. So I think right now our contemplations are go and get a swamp with catacombs. Cast Thought Season Liliana. Or we just Blood Braid here. I think that's the play. We're here to play Blood Bright Elves, right? Am I right? Yes. It has the highest upside. If we get a Liliana or something into this, it's just backbreaking. <laughs> nice. We found a creature matchup. I think these are our, so our strong strengths. Playing against Jace, uh, blue white control decks, and uh, Scred, green, red, probably isn't our best matchups. Well, I think we cast that. It's definitely not great, but it's going to grow our Tarmogoyf. All right. Our opponent has responses. Spell Pierce. We're okay with that. It will not pay. Goes to a 4 or 5. So now the choice is to attack with everything. Or just Tarmogoyf and Bloodbraid? And I think the answer is just everything. Dark Confidant's done enough work for us that we're okay if it trades. We're just going to get on in there. Try to do as much damage as possible. No block. He has the same mentality as we do. 
trying to just get us as fast as possible. Something like double Merfork Lord is definitely scary. Um, we do have the Scavenging Ooze to gain a little bit of life if we really need. That's a Lord. Does have Island Walk. Harbringer. So we're turning our goyf. It's a bit annoying. Gets on in there for three. Puts us down to nine. Would really like something like a lightning bolt here off blood or off Bob. A Liliana. Oof, that is not what we wanted. Abrupt decay is. But hmm, I think we just have to attack with both. Um, hope that he blocks in some way, and then try to blow him out with our creatures or with our uh, planeswalkers. Excuse me. Because I don't think you can just take this here. With having lightning bolts in your deck. Yep, he's going to do that. I kind of figured. Now we get everything. We get everything. So, we just have to go. Ooh. I don't have the mana to do the play that I really wanted. Ugh, gross. Um, I wanted to go Abrupt Decay and Liliana to just clear his whole board. We don't quite have enough for that. So we're going to have to settle for green black. Oh, we're going to untap that. We're going to have to go get a swamp. So we do not want to take any more damage here. Get a swamp. Go green black here. Abrupt Decay the Lord, which gets the Harbringer. Cast a Tarmogoyf. And see if that'll get us there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Bit of a cold. Merfolk Branch Walker coming down. Gets a hanger back. Or a Harbinger of the Tides. Let's see if he's going to want that. Keeps it on top, it looks like. And another Island Walker. That's very bad for us. Yeah, I think we're dead unless we draw something here. Since we cannot block because of this. Terminate. That could be... That's exactly what we needed. So we terminate this. And then we attack with Bull. He has to block. And then we cast a Liliana. Seems good. Thank God we needed that. We'll actually just terminate this. Ooh, we could have just terminated and treetopped and actually just killed him here. That was bad. Huh. But we tapped wrong, so we cannot do that. Quite poor. He's going to block blood bread. Nope. We'll cast Liliana. That should lock it up. But yeah, like I said, that was just a mistake there. Um... Yeah, could have just killed him with treetop. Hopefully we're not punished there, but definitely could be. Alright. I don't know what he could have here. 
we're gonna discard a card I knew he kept a harbinger on there so that's probably his way to keep it alive yep so he's left with only a harbinger so if he plays that at instant speed bounces this treetop village will finish him off green green We'll cast a Tarmogoyf, not that it really matters. Just off the double green with the Twilight Mire here. Okay. Animate a treetop village, attack with everything that should lock it up. Get on in there, guys. All right. On to game two against the fishies. Fishies probably want as much removal as possible. Um, Kitchen Fink seems good. Brutality seem pretty good. Um, Liliana the Veil doesn't seem great. But I think there are going to be spots where it will be great. So I think we'll take out Thoughtseize because we don't want to deal ourselves a lot of damage. And honestly, even Inquisitions don't feel great. Um, yeah, I think we just want our Blood Braids to be as impactful as possible. So I think we're just going to go like this. Just creatures and removal. The spreading seeds plan of just getting your dudes unblockable is a real threat. But that's why we have four lightning bolts. All right, fishies. All right. Dark Confidant seems a card like a card that's very hard for them to deal with, if uh, as long as we're not super behind on the board. It's a card that just gains too much incremental value. And speaking of, found him right away. This hand is pretty good. We're going to keep opponents on the mulligan. Keeps. Let's see where they scryed. Scryed to the bottom. All right, ships the turn. Okay, Raging Ravines, pretty good draw. We're going to say go, and here we can actually, we're going to have options here. Because we could set up Liliana being good, which I think is more important than actually casting Dark Confidant here. If we can go Terminate, and then he plays another creature, and we can Liliana that, I mean, that's that's ideal. That's that's where we win games from. Silver Gale Adept is not the card we want to be Terminating. But, for those reasons, and reveal the Silver Gale Adept. Interesting. I think that's what we're going to do, though. We're still going to just terminate. But he does have those spell pierces. Yeah, I think we'll just get the Dark Confidant. It's lower risk. Uh, less of a reward as well. I think Terminate Liliana play is insane if he doesn't have a spell pierce. But if he does, like that, that play is just terrible. Then we wasted a Terminate on a Silver Girl Adept. And we, uh, and we're going to lose our Liliana? Like, just doesn't seem great. Okay. Whenever this creature becomes a target of spells or ability for the first time, counter. Oh, God, Liliana would have been so good. Well, he's still giving us the option. I think we take this. Yep. We will block. Liliana needs to be turned online in this game. Especially against an annoying card like that. And then we get that back. That This was nice. This worked out well. There's no reason he shouldn't attack there. And there's no reason this shouldn't have a picture as well. Gotta love the moto bugs. Okay, sacrifice a creature, my friend. That did not target, so Liliana will be successful there. And now next turn we can terminate and scavenging ooze. Seems pretty nice. Mutavolt. Mutavolt's a good card.
Looks like Silvergill Adept here I know he still has. Has the other merfolk it looks like. Revealing a branch walker. Gets to draw a card. Chooses not to play anything else. That's interesting. All right, so our Tarmogoyf is not very big right now. Let's make it bigger. I'm gonna just discard this overgrown tomb. Okay. Gets a speaker out of there. I think we'll start. What could he have? I think we'll start with the scavenging ooze and see how that goes. It says okay. Now, is it wise to just play a Tarmogoyf here? Or is it better to be on the Terminate plan? I don't know what these lists mostly run these days. I think it's better to get the creature into play. We'll see if we get punished for this decision. Plays nothing. Interesting. Why would he not play that branch walker? Relic, turning off Tarmogoyf, and effectively scavenging ooze. It's a pretty good relic right there. Effectively shutting down three of the cards out of the three of the four cards we have. Ugh. So he can't Branch Walker, Animate Mutavolt, and Sack Relic. I think that's what he just realized when he untapped there. I think his best play is Animating Mutavolt, attacking both at Liliana and seeing what I do. So we're going to Adept. We know his hand now is Branch Walker and whatever he just drew. Now Liliana is actually quite dead for us now. All right, so he does not have a land. So, yep, we need to get rid of this Dark Confidant. Leave ourselves with a 2-3. So if he attacks, I think I just... I need that Relic off the board. So I'm just going to block with Goyf. I will say, yep, you do it, man. You do it. Because then I get a Goyf in the graveyard that I can return. So all this will work out quite nicely for me. Yep. Dead. Fine. All right. Now we can Culligan's Command. Killing something. Returning a Tarmogoyf, playing a Tarmogoyf, seems pretty good. The question is, do we want to tick up? And the answer to that, I don't know. I think we just want to tick up and pass the turn. Yeah, I think we just want to tick up here, see what he does. Get rid of our mountain. We're in no rush here. We're going to win this long game. Maybe it discards a creature that we can chomp up here with Scavenging Ooze. Which he does. So now we just say go. We just keep protecting this Liliana. I might just eat this Ooze now while I have the chance. Yep, I'm going to. Eat that dude. Now, if he goes all out, we can still protect Liliana, which is a huge play. Let's 
Spreading seas. Here we don't care about that. Um, if he hit, yeah, I guess we just wouldn't care about it regardless. It's fine. So we know the card in his hand is Merfolk Branchwalker still. And now a mystery card. He's going to animate Mutavolt. He's going for it. He's going to kill this Liliana. And we're going to say no to that. All at Liliana. We're going to start by hoping this works. Return to Armagoyf, kill a Mutavolt. Spell Pierce is quite annoying for us right now, but nothing we can do. Worked there. We get to block. Liliana stays alive. More food. That could not have worked out any better. All right, and we know Branch Walker is this last card we're going to get with the discard. Ooh, baby! That card's great. That card's real great. Now, we almost just want to discard Tarmogoyf again. Um, just because we can bring it back. So that's what we're going to do. Our first discard. We want to keep Terminate because those lords are still a big problem. Tarmogoyf is just going to feel so unloved. We bring him right back. He's all excited to get on the battlefield. And we're just like, nah, get out of here. All right, Liliana, last hope. Likeness rule allows us to do this now, thankfully. Pick up. Our opponent is in top deck mode here. So something we're really afraid of is... Um, well, we are going to just eat one of his dudes right now. Um, we're afraid of those island walking merfolk right now. Just because it would kill Liliana. Um, then we're definitely not out of the woods. Or, I mean, then we're definitely still not losing or anything really f rapidly, but. Ooh, got there, got there. All right. Okay.